Well, good afternoon, YouTube channel. It's Belmont here. And, yeah, I, I'm a little bit late in the week for uh, my newest video, but I'm bringing you double the locks. So, I picked these up last month around the same time when I got a delivery from Mayhem Keys. And I actually wanted a combination lock that I could bypass and learn how to work with so I could put my ultra slim decoder and my beer cans to use. While at the same time, I picked up a, another HyperTuff, and it's the little M1. It's a long latch, and you know, I figured it was time to uh, get another one because the current, <clears throat> well, the current little Hyper Tough has, well, it's only good for being bypassed now. It doesn't turn all the way for the key because I've pretty much jammed up the pins and the core. So, yeah, Belmont got a little bit fast and dirty with his cheapo lock and learned how to bypass, but it also messed up the core. So that's to be expected for a super cheap lock. But this Brinks, well, it was also on the cheap side, but not that bad. It's maybe about four or five dollars. And in my previous video, you obviously saw my latest in my DIY project. And which it got up to, well, it got 1,500 views. And yet it dropped down to 1,003. I don't know how someone can unview something. So maybe it's a kind of magic, but the report I read on my uh, studio was 800 organic views. Well, even though, even though there are many out there who hated me, apparently you like seeing Belmont with a boomstick. So that's cool. So now you see Belmont with a Brinks. And no, I have not preset a new combination on that lock yet. I'm working my way to it, and I'm just brushing the dust off my locks again for this past week, and playing around, picking picking locks open, seeing what I can do with them. And that's pretty much been it. Well, that, and I also... Went around 70 miles round trip to a dentist uh, two days ago. I went to a dentist to have an attempt at oral surgery done. And they wouldn't operate on the tooth because I had high blood pressure and registered twice for prehypertension. And Novocaine and the epinephrine would increase my blood pressure. And they didn't want to risk giving someone a heart attack. Well, hey, wouldn't exactly be a tremendous loss. But now that we are in the 1st of October, I'll be getting those pesky teeth out in a little towards the end of November. 
In the meantime, they gave me some moxicillin to knock out any possible infection and four a day. Now, in the upcoming video next week, we're going to feature a key. Well, not just any key. A key that can get you into certain mobile homes. And this key has a lot of history with it. And I'm going to have to compile a very organized little bio from all the information that was given to me by my good friends at Mayhem Keys. So thank you for that, Junior. They are in the process of making a secret batch of keys for a all-in-one for all the preppers out there and the ones who really just got to have all the keys on earth. Yeah, I myself am seeing similar things happen in this world where, you know, we're coming to the fallout point. But before we get to fallout, I do plan on having my prep set and ready. As you've already seen with the last video. Some of those preps are set. So, I hope you'll be sticking around for next week's video. To where you'll see a very unique key. So this is Belmont saying, stick around.